can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee has graced the octagon. He is ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Magnifico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Roos the Dragon Lee. And there's Herb Dean, he will fight. handle the action inside Ready. the octagon. Well, it is St. Patrick's Day, and thank you for spending a part of it with us. This is a big deal in places like Ireland, where I'm from, Boston, Massachusetts. The St. Paddy's Day Parade, you saw Conor McGregor there in 2018. It's a fun night, for sure. It's a fun night, and no better way to start it than with some fights in the UFC Oscar. Lee gets caught with that punch. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do it. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Solid kick by him there. Let's go, you can do this. Keep Fast going. pace here in the early going. Right on the button. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Lands the kick to the body there. Great commitment to the kicking game. Please punch to the body. That one is blocked. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go. Missed with that attempt. That'll work nicely left. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Nice kick there by Lee. Quick right hand lands. Set the 
unable to land with that punch. Jab there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Under a minute now to go in the round. He does a great job of getting that leg kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Looks as though he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big elbow there, Lance. Knee to the body. Blocked. Massive head kick. Lands a quick jab. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Final seconds here. Oh, hurt. Uh, one sack for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready? You ready? Do Second it. round underway. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Lunges forward with a left there. There's that side kick. Oh, nice kick. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Oh, man, the blood is thrown now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Try to establish that jab. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes. In this fight. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Three minutes now to go in this one. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning 
he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Lee's shot there is blocked. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. So right now we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponents. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. He's cut. Give the elbow. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Great job getting that punch to the target. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. 20 seconds to go round two. Lee go with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Seconds winding down in round two. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Man, that cut has really opened up. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Just misses with the right. And there's that jab. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being... He continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Oh! 
each other, just kind of going at it. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Bro, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody yes, 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 yes. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Step in here, yes, and call on the doctor to look at that nose job. Might need one after this <laughs> fight. He might, because his face looks so different. He's unrecognizable from yesterday. The blood has really become a problem for him. Doctor talking to the referee, and as if to say, I've seen worse. Fight's wow. going to continue the fans' love. This dude chose violence <laughs> when he showed up to work today. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the oh, yeah. oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving Fight touch up. to the head. Fight up. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Push kick there to the body. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. Oh, huge knee! Work that left hand. Just out of range with that left hook. Lee's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but... Trying to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big head kick! Wow, what a fight! Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Good kick to the body. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, Superman punch! That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and, man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down first. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Oh, oh big left. Oh, 
What a beautiful jab landing there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating. Oh, like kick rounds. His opponent lifted a little bit, trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He's taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get a referee or even a doctor to intervene here. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, there's no denying his toughness, but how much damage to the body can one man take? At some point, the referee's got to get involved, I would think. Well, someone, I mean, this guy's as tough as they come, and his toughness is, is, is really showing right now. But should it really have to? That's the question now. Someone should save this man from himself. Lee's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming.